In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best little snap throw under center passing formation in Madden 21. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just lets you get up to date with the latest ticks or trips, whoops, uh, tips and tricks right here on the YouTube channel. In this video, we're talking about under center quick passing. This is um, a concept that I actually really like, and this comes to us out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense playbook. This is also found in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook as well. Um, and what it is is a single back wing stack. Now, I actually have a full um, offensive guide out on the single back wing stack. The best way to get that is to text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Or uh, to join the True Fan membership, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. And real quick, just for those of you that don't know, um, my True Fan membership, what you get is every single week you get an offensive meta update, a defensive meta update, a pro player breakdown. And for those of you that can sign up for the True Fan membership before August 12th, you'll actually get my first offensive and defensive guides for Madden 22 right on the true fan membership so if you haven't joined the true fan membership yet i would encourage you to do that um and, and you're going to get a free guide for it so our free two guides i guess but anyways let's go over this um over this little scheme here this is a really fun little uh under center uh quick passing scheme and i'm going to show you my favorite little concept um out of this play and that is this if i can find it here um this play here under uh out of the single back wing stack the steelers playbook has a little bit more in terms of passing from this so you can check that out but it does not have this specific passing concept and this is one of my favorite ones for the red zone real quick under center play and the reason why i like it so much is because it really just does a really good job against pretty much any zone coverage if they're running zone on you um this is a really good running or uh, a really good play now typically you're going to see the user is going to sit kind of over in this area he's not going to sit on this side the reason why is because um the run is much better obviously to the right in this formation than to the left so what we can do is we can basically run this drag route as you see here to mike evans right at the user and typically that'll pull the user and what you're going to see is um, this corner route's going to pull up back all the horizontal zones and then i'm just going to dump it off right here to the back real quick and as you see this has been one of my favorite snap throws for years it's real simple it's literally just snap throw the ball out there um, it's really really good against the blitz so you'll see here if they send pressure at us um, again that little drag and then you just got this quick throw right here and you're getting up field for about nine to ten yards every single time so because of that um, not only are you going to be able to have a really good route combination against the blitz uh, from zone but you're also going to have a really good route combination against the blitz from man another quick throw that we have is this tight end on a post and i love this route because it cuts and gets open so fast um, against pretty much anything the defense does. So if you see um, any kind of blitz, maybe their user goes to stop the running back, you could pretty much always bank on the fact that your tight end route is going to be open quick. So you've got really three quick reads. You've got your, your uh, quick route to the drag, and then you've also got your quick route to the back. Um, now what I like about this quick route to the drag is if you take a look at this, um, what you're going to notice here is that that little quick route to the drag is going to do a great job of pulling yellow zones. So um, as you see here again, just that little quick route right to the back, it's going to really hold them. So let's say, for example, that their user really jumps out at you and he tries to just basically sit on the running back route. Well, what's going to happen is as you're reading this play, you look, oh, they're going to the running back. Okay, then I'm going to dump it to the drag and immediately get a field for seven to 10 yards. So it's just a really good quick passing concept. And then what's going to happen is over the course of the game and how you're playing and everything, they're going to go to, you know, kind of some max coverage zone. And when they go to max coverage zone, what I personally really like to do is just let everything develop. You're going to see this running back is going to sit down against the zone, just like that in that little pocket. And basically what it's going to create is a high low read between your running back route and your tight end route. I absolutely love this. So you're going to see right here that typically they're going to sit on the running back. And just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to put him on a hook curl. Um, but very, very uh, seldom will they actually go to the tight end. So you're going to see here they're going to sit on the running back and then your tight end route is coming wide open over the middle of the field. So really quick reads, really simple, um, and at the same time, really, really effective. Now, another thing that you can do uh, that I really like to do, especially from this formation, um, is a little little way that you can essentially create the same concept on both sides of the field. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take the square receiver. We're actually going to put him on a little hitch. And we're going to motion this hitch to the outside and snap the ball right here on the numbers. And what you're going to see is this little hitch right here is really going to do a good job of sitting against any zone coverage as well. And now what you've got is you've got two really good zone beaters on both sides of the field. The last thing that I want to show you in this video is um, the fact that this corner route to the left side is a little bit different than your average corner route. Not only is it going to be really good against man-to-man, -man, um, it's going to be really good against zone. And the reason why is because it's super sharp and it's almost like an out route. So you'll see here, if you watch that circle receiver, see how he cuts the outside and gets in a really unique position. He's actually going to get open against Mabel coverage, which I think is very unique um, because most corner routes don't get open against Mabel coverage. The other reason why I like this is because let's say that you might be up against some people that are running some max coverage on you, maybe some man-to-man. -man. I just want to show you what this running back route does. You're going to see that it's going to cut to the inside and just absolutely torch man-to-man -man coverage. And then you're also going to have your corner route on the outside. Let me show you that real quick. Um, so this play is just a multi-faceted play, um, a play that I think does a lot of damage. You're going to see here that you get this nice natural pick and rub, and that corner route's able to beat man-to-man -to, -man to the outside. So you've got a lot of man beaters, a lot of zone beaters, and one little passing concept. And this is quite frankly my favorite under center pass. And then the cool part about it is you have this zone weak that you could check down to and obviously run the rock. And this is one of my favorite little things to use in the goal line because if they give me a really good look for the run, maybe they come out in something like three through five or whatever, then I'll, I'll hit the zone weak and I'll just try to get up yard and get some easy yardage. Um, and then if they're playing a little bit more pass defense, I can also you know maybe audible around to some different formations in here and do some other options. But I absolutely love the passing from this. I think this little snap throw right here is just the best. It's the best snap throw in the game. One other little pro tip, you see here I can actually motion this, this running back to the outside and basically I can just snap, throw it out there. And again, you know, if you have Gunslinger and if they're not playing that, that seam flat zone, you're gonna have a little bit more success. But again, all that to say, you know, this is just such a really, just a super simple concept. Um, the other thing is that you can do is you can actually drag this tight end, get a little mesh action going. The only reason why I like to do that is because you get that little block right there. And as you can see, you're going to get a field. But anyways, this is super simple, but it's a super effective snap throw. Really good against the meta. Really, really good against, you know, a lot of the stuff that people are going to do. If you start to see, this is also really good for this coverage right here. So a lot of people like to do that little blitz right there. Um... If you see their user trying to come in, you can literally just snap the ball and basically throw it as soon as you get out of the backfield, and he's going to get wide open. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to get the full scheme, be sure to join the True Fan membership down below. I left a link. And if you join the True Fan membership before August 12th, you're going to get my free or my first offensive and defensive guide in Madden 22. You're actually going to get that completely for free by joining the True Fan membership. So join the True Fan membership today for just 5 bucks. It's going to be over a $35 value. We're going to get you guys really dialed in for the Madden 22 season. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to join that true fan membership, the link is in the description.